So next question is, um, okay, I wanna, I don't wanna wait too long, but then my husband wants to go to a only a excellent restaurant, you know, the top rated kind of restaurant. Uh, so let's see, um, uh, let's see how, what percent of the restaurants satisfy his criteria of uh, being excellent. Okay, well actually, do we have this already? What percent were excellent? All right, 22%. What percent is it out of all the restaurants? Excellent, 22%. Okay, so we already have the answer, so we didn't actually do, need to do any extra work. So we're going to uh, just put the answer in here, 22%. Okay, so uh, wait, okay, waiting under less, under 10 minutes, about 39%. And the excellent restaurants, 22%. So it should, should be pretty easy to find the restaurant that satisfies both of these uh, criteria, right? So both my husband and I should be, uh, you know, should be happy. So we should be able to find something that will, uh, that will make both of us happy. Okay, so uh, that's the next question. Uh, what percent of the restaurants satisfy both of our criteria? Wait under 10 minutes uh, and uh, uh, be an excellent. Uh, yes? Oh, really? Zero. Oh, that's disappointing. <sighs> okay. Well, let's see. Uh, we have. We got here. Oh. Oh yeah. It says right here. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, so. Uh, okay. So I guess people tend to wait longer you know, at excellent restaurants. Uh, so uh, there. Was, like you, if you want to go to an excellent restaurant, you're happily willing to wait. You gotta be willing to wait. So uh, there it is, a uh, zero percent. So no restaurant uh, satisfies both of our criteria. Okay. So now this is where now the power of compromise uh, comes in. Right, so uh, here, so first we just say we say uh, zero uh, percent uh, since I'm a reasonable person uh, and uh, so uh, to have a good no, to keep up the relationship, you are willing to compromise. Uh, and uh, so I figured, okay, we're on vacation, so maybe, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not too busy, so maybe I could wait a little bit, uh, a little bit more than usual. So I'm going to relax my requirement to under 20 minutes. So wait under, tw wait a time less than 20 minutes. And now uh, are we going to do any better? So will we be able to find the restaurants that uh, satisfy both of our criteria? Uh, can we see it here? So excellent, and uh, under 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> right, thank you. Uh, so, right, so uh, there is, okay, uh, so three? Three percent, right. Uh, okay, Very not, so at least that's uh, much better than uh, zero percent. Okay, so we're happy about that. So uh, here we're going to say uh, three percent, uh, okay. And so that's the three percent. So that's great. And um, so, uh, which restaurants satisfy both of our criteria? So we want to know not just the three, no, not just not just a percent. We want to identify those restaurants. So we want to identify uh, those restaurants. So uh, how do we do that? <laughs> what I could do is I just go over here, right? Go to the or the entry uh, that has a three percent. I just have to double click. So just double click and it will give me a list of the restaurants that fall into the, uh, that satisfy both of these criteria. So I'm going to double click and you could see here, oh, okay, here are the restaurants. Uh, so here are the choices uh, for the uh, restaurant. And so you can see, you know, excellent rating and the waiting time, all these are under uh, 20 minutes. Now, uh, I mean, there's a restaurant number, so I assume that they, they have some, I, uh, <laughs> these are like the ID numbers that we could associate with the, the actual restaurant. Okay, uh, and let's see, we are going to go back over here. Uh, so we did that, we did, okay, we did this. And now let's go on to something else. We're gonna talk about the prices, uh, prices of the restaurants. What percent of restaurants have average meal price under $30? So by the way, so this is what we did. So I'm just, I'm looking at the finished uh, file uh, here. Uh, now uh, we're going to do, you know, something like this. We're gonna do something like this. So since we are also, we are still interested in you know, quality rating. So let's try uh, now this time, quality rating versus the price. 
quarterly versus, uh, quarterly versus the average price. So we want to get something like this. We want to do something like this. So we're going to put quality ratings uh, in the rows, row labels, and the column labels will be the meal price, right? And what else? It looks like we uh, could group these uh, because the meal prices are, you know, in like dollars, um, and there are many possible meal prices. Uh, and let's see, uh, where are we here? So we're asking, what is the probability? Uh, wait, we're here. <laughs> what percent of restaurants have the average meal price under $30? Uh, what percent of restaurants have average meal price under $30? So we're interested in what percent under $30. Uh, so that's why we might want to group it like group it like this. So these are like under $30. And then the other ones are uh, you know, thirty dollars or over. So we're going to use the grouping feature of the pivot table. Okay, so uh, let's try creating this. And uh, here are the instructions, right? Quality rating rows, meal price go to columns, and the values are again the restaurants. And uh, we want to summarize a field by count, right? So that's that's that part. Okay, so we're going to go over to the one that we are working on and we're going to go to our data uh, and we're going to you know, do the usual insert and the pivot table and we're going to put it on a new worksheet so here it is so what was it again the meal price go to the columns and um, uh, quality rating will go to the uh, go to the rows and what else uh, as before, it would be, let's see, excellent, good, very good, okay. It would be nice to kind of put this in order. So we're going to, let's see. So again, you guys will have to look for that hand. And I have my, uh, um, my crosshairs here. So I'm gonna move it to the bottom. So I have it in order. Good, very good, excellent. Uh, and for the values here, so again, we're trying to count, right? How many restaurants? So we're going to put here restaurant, drag it to the values. So now remember what we have to do here, right? If you drag the restaurants into the values, uh, what does it give you by default? Does it give you average, sum, or count? <laughs> so, right, we give, it gives you the sum. Uh, give you just some like it says over here. We don't want that. You know, we don't want to add up the you know these numbers. You know, that would make no sense. We would just want to count them. Uh, so we're going to go here. Maybe right click and uh, value field settings, or as we were doing before, go to analyze tab and the field settings. Okay, and uh, that's the count, right? So we just want the count and we're going to say okay so here are the counts and what else do we need to do okay we need to group right so let's go over here so click one of these right click one of these column headings which are the meal prices so don't click here but click one of the column headings then you could do right click and then group and again either that or uh, you could go to group selection right in the analyze tab okay so group and uh, let's see how do we get it to so we want to go from like 10 to 29 and then 32 whatever right? and here it looks it says uh, 48 was the must be the, must be the highest value right the highest price and it looks like 10 is the lowest uh, price and so starting at 10 and then the next group we want that to start at this 10 to something and then what? 30? We want under 30, right? So we want some count under 30. So we'd be like a 10 to whatever and then 30 to whatever. So 10 to 29. Okay, so um, the here by uh, the increment indicates the difference between the starting values, right? Uh, for the groups, the first starts first one starts at ten, and then next group starts should start at like a twenty, uh, you know, uh, plus ten, so which is thirty. So I'm gonna put here twenty. Okay, so it's gonna go ten to twenty nine, and then ten plus twenty is thirty. So it's got, and then it's got what, 32, whatever, but uh, 48 is the highest value, so it's not gonna go have more groups after the second group. 
Okay, so we're going to say K, and here it is, 10 to 29, 30 to uh, 49. So again, uh, when it says, you know, by uh, in the group, when you're trying to group, it says by what? Uh, uh, that is the increment. That is the difference between the starting values of the group. So 10 and then a 30. Uh, so the difference here, 30 minus 10, right, is 20. And that is the, the increment. Okay. Uh, so that's that, and now uh, does it match the what we have in the finished version? And oh, where is it? It's over here. Okay. okay. Let me try to put it side by side. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I'm happy with that. And and then what else? It looks like uh, we have uh, actually here you've got proper labels uh, for the columns and the uh, so uh, that we could get by going to what's that design right um, design and the report layout and then just maybe you choose the second one the first one is a default and that doesn't give you the labels it just says the row labels and column labels uh, but it would be better to have the specific labels so i want to go to the design report layout and the outline form to get the proper uh no headings are uh, here okay what else now does it look the same okay so it looks the same okay so what was the question oh it just said under 30 so <laughs> Okay, so under 30, so I just had to pick up this number, right, 196. And right, so uh, the column total here you know, represents the uh, uh, number of restaurants that satisfy this criteria. Uh, so we got to just go to the, co the column total, 196. Uh, now, if I wanted to get excellent and under 30, then I would look, uh, I'd look at 16, it would be the, the answer. So 196 is over here. Uh, and oh, uh, should be a percent, I guess. Uh, okay, percent. Uh, so it should be a percent. Uh, and uh, how do I get the percent? Divide by the grand total. Okay, so I could go, uh, let's see, uh, 196 divided by 300. 196 divided by 300. So that gives us about 65%. Uh, percent. Uh, so here, under 30 would be, uh, let's say, um, 65, oh, okay, let's put a 3%, 0.3 there, 65.3%, okay. Okay, now, uh, here's a, a, a slightly different wording uh, here. If I choose a restaurant at random, uh, what is the probability the average meal price here is under $30? Yes? Oh, would you say it will be the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trick question. So uh, it will be the same answer as a year. It said, well, the 65% of the restaurants have meal price under $30. So if I were to just choose one at random, well, since 65% of them have meal price under $30, so 65% should be the probability, the likelihood uh, that I will, that this restaurant that I chose at random. Uh, we'll have a meal price under $30. So it's really actually the same thing, 65.3%. Uh, so this is like the example of calculating, estimating probability by looking at relative frequency. So you say, okay, how many restaurants satisfy this condition? And then divide the count by the total count, the total number of all the restaurants, and that gives you like a probability. So if I were to now uh, pick something at random, what is the chance of this happening? Well, it's the same as a frequency, relative frequency. Uh, the number that satisfies the criteria divided by the total.